Did you know that the objects on the screen were made of points? Like an illustration program, you can add and edit points as well as create curves. This allows you to create most any shape you want. You'll find this command on the right click menu. It's called Edit Points. It only works with shapes though. If you need to use it for images, you can use the image as a fill for the shape and then adjust the shape around it. This is a little more difficult, but you can do it with some effort and practice. I want to show you a couple of things about how you can manipulate a shape to make it be whatever you are trying to make it be. The first thing I want to show you is if you click on the shape in your um, command menu here on the right click menu, there's an item here called edit points. And if you click edit points, now you have four points here on the edge of the box that you can work with. So now when you click that, like I just clicked on the bottom here, you get these handlebars. Now this is very similar to what happens in an illustration type of program and it allows you to manipulate what the shape looks like. So now if I click on this item here, this handle, see the handle there? As I move it and I can bring it in and I can bring it out and it adjusts the level of that curve. So if I kind of put it there, it makes a bump in the middle and then I can do the same over here and it makes a bump out there. I could move this in and I could also bring these outwards if I wanted to. Something like that. Now let's say that I wanted to add a point here. I could do that by edit points again and now if I click right there it adds a point which means that I could drag that way and again I have handles here and here and if I right click on a point I could add points I can delete points I could create an open path or close a path I could smooth a point or straight point right now we have straight points if I smooth that point now I've turned it into a curve so what used to be a square can now be manipulated in multiple ways and you could take this same shape and let's say we had a circle over here and we needed to connect it for some reason to here and we wanted that to be black and we wanted that to have no outline and we needed to add this together well if I select this and I select this I can then go under my format menu to merge shapes and I could do a union and now it's one entire shape. If I go in here and I click on this and I click edit points, you can see that this piece right here is now open, which means that they are connected in their one shape. All right, so let's delete that for a moment. Let's say we have a square and we need to cut a hole in the middle. Okay like such. And we'll make that black just so you can see it. Now remember we made the lock and we made the keyhole. Then maybe we want to turn this into a hole for the keyhole rather than an actual solid shape. So we would use our rounded rectangle like we did before to create the key shape. And again we will make that black. And we'll remove the outline. So what we should do is we should make these one item. So we'll go under Format, Merge Shapes, Create a Union. So now I have one shape here. And what I want to do is I want to cut a hole in the blue box. So I want to cut this using this. That's the way you need to be thinking about it. Cut this using that. If we subtract, now, if I put a shape behind it, kind of like that, send it back, and we'll change the color of that to be green. You can see it behind it. And see as I move this here, so we have literally cut a hole in our shape. 
And what that allows us to do is now if we put a shape outline on it, maybe a black, and then maybe we want to put a drop shadow on it, now you can see there's a drop shadow. If we put something behind it, you'll see it better. See how there's now a drop shadow and it looks slightly 3D and it's popped off the page? That's how you would do that. So let's start over fresh and let's think about what we can do here. So for example, what if we had a circle and we wanted to cut a hole in it? Well, we could do that by creating another circle that would make the hole. Put it in the center of the, of the circle. There's one. There you go. We want to cut this with that. So now we go to our format, merge shapes, and we would subtract. And now we have a shape that we can put. Let's not put an outline, but let's put a drop shadow on it again. There you go. And now you have a nice drop shadow. And again, let's prove our point. That shape fill maybe will be yellow. Send it to the back. And there you go. You can see that that has a hole in it. So how cool is that? That is how Merge Shapes works. And there's a couple other options, but I don't normally use those. Um, so I wouldn't spend a lot of time with that. But understanding how to um, create a union and how to subtract images. That is where your magic's going to be.